afraid. Mm. Oh. He's getting ready for an air attack. No way! No That's way. a beautiful balloon parade! Balloon parade! What? I like balloons! What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to your recap from the Halloween Forum event which took place this morning between Team Loon and Team Witches. I have gone ahead and joined with my friend Lack in Team Loon where we are going to bring some balloon parades down on these witches. Now the rules were fairly straightforward, you could take up to 15 wall breakers, you had to take a minimum of 3 skeleton spells and then the rest were your own spells, whatever you wanted to take and then you had to pack the rest of your army including your clan castle both offensively and defensively had to be either balloons or witches. The war event took place in association with the forums, the clan details and passwords were put up at a set time and then you could join either clan you wanted to, head over to the forums, I'm sure they will be planning on doing things like this in the future because the event went off a hit, you can see that we're in Team Loon Camp right now, confidence is sky high and we'll basically go through this video pretty much time lapse in the event i was recording from start to finish so you'll get to follow exactly what was happening as we went along we have our mascot here at team loon Flora. thank you buddy he will be cheering for us along the way and with that let's count down into battle day Let's just wish the team good luck and off we go onto the one hour battle day. We will watch live the first match which is available. Maybe not. Let's go for the second battle, the second live battle which takes place. We will show it to you and one is just underway so here we go. No, it's going to have to be third time is the charm guys. Here we are and it is Team Witch hitting up the first attack. Third attack. Whatever you want guys, first, third, it doesn't matter. Here he comes, using the witches on the side for a bit of a funnel and then trying to push all of the rest of the witches through from the west. Looks like the heroes are coming in as well. The jump spell has gone down, skipping forward. You can see that they continue to push on towards the town hall. But as we move through the attack, it didn't quite turn out exactly as planned that mortar just going down there but the jump spell has disappeared the witches aren't going to make it through to that town hall looks like he's good for the 50 percent and the one star but a great start for team loon what do you think guys can we do this let's get into my live attack and see if i can put some stars on the board for us so i'm actually going to zap quake the air sweeper which will give me the most trouble didn't quite reach the town hall with that as well and I do apologize my recording software lagged out on me so it missed my entire balloon deployment but here is where I am stuck 36% didn't near get as many defenses as I thought I would I thought I'd be good for that infernal tower and expo not quite the queen locks onto the town hall so I managed to get that down but it is going to be pushing it for the 50%. I have a few skeletons left on the west of the base where I had used the skeleton spells as a bit of a funnel, but unfortunately, as time moves on, they're not going to be able to get that down. And to be honest, it would have been an agonizing 49% one star, even if they'd have got it. So not quite a great start for me, but let's move back across and see how the rest of Team Loon are doing. Flower. Thank you buddy, I did need that pickup following the first attack. You can see plenty of attacks still going on, but in the midst of all this, Lack has gone ahead and pulled out the two star, and against fellow forumer Holps, he will be over the moon about this. Let's go and check out exactly how it went down. Balloons coming in from the southeast side, right the way across, trying to sweep all the way through the base. The problem we have with Team Balloon is all of these trash buildings on the outside. That's actually where the skeleton spell aims to help us out. Clone spell on the balloons in the middle. I'd have actually cloned the balloons a little bit further down, moving to that second Inferno Tower. But who am I? No, I'm the one star king. Lack here pulling out the two stars uses the king to take out the buildings down the side queen locks onto them storages and then moves through, takes out the town hall and a great raid. 
Very nice for Team Loon to get them two stars higher up the board. You can see, however, that Witches are slightly ahead already. Let's check out one of their higher two stars. But we are only 15 minutes into the war. There's still plenty of time to bring this back. But certainly Witches having the easier time at present. So very similar to other attacks we've seen, using the Witches on the side to create a funnel and pushing all the remaining Witches through the middle. Look at all of them skeletons rush the town hall. Before you know it, that is down. And it's just a case of securing the two star, which he does very nicely and picking up as much percent as possible. So another two stars for Team Witch, unfortunately. I shouldn't really even say unfortunately. The event was all in good fun but clearly I want Team Loon to win. If we move down either side of the board though, you can see both teams struggling at certain points, Team Witch holding on to that victory so far, but we are only approaching the halfway point. Let's move right the way down, see if we can get into another live attack here, and the next one is going to be from Team Witch again. We're high up the board here, number 3 versus number 3, you can see the Witches on the outside creating the funnel, whilst the boat bulk of the majority of them are pushing right through the middle, jump spell is down to provide access to that town hall compartment, but as they all move forward, in comes the rage spell and you can see that gap, there's the giant bomb, does do a little bit of damage but luckily the Stig still has plenty of troops up here, it's certainly looking good for the town hall, we're already past 25% so all he needs to do is close in on that 50 and certainly with the witches that has been a little bit easier for them than I feel us at Team Balloon. You can see that on this one he does in fact close it in, another two star for Team Witch and certainly we are on the back pedal here on Team Loon but flipping straight across our number two against their number nine this attack has just taken place and let's see how it went down. So we have the bulk of the balloons coming in from the north, a couple of them coming over on the east there as well and they have made it to the core of the base, that's perfect. Once the balloons start taking down the defences, we can then bring in them skeleton spells to take out the trash buildings. You see the heroes coming in now as well, hoping to get the town hall. And the queen is going to be drawn to the enemy queen, which is perfect. She can then lock onto the town hall, take that down, and you will see a great two star here for us at Team Loon. Flipping across the replays now, thick and fast, there were just two other two stars that took place, one for each team actually, so I thought I'd quickly bring them in. The first one here you can see witches sweeping across the base from one side to the other, and this unorthodox design actually means that the skeletons are able to run a mockery right the way through this base actually, they're able to get from one side to the other reasonably easy, and that two star isn't too much of a job. Moving across to our attack at Team Loon, we're attacking in from the south, the town hall is down in this direction so that's definitely a bonus, however the air sweepers are both pointed generally in this direction and I'd imagine that would cause us a little bit of an issue, you can see some more balloons sneaking in here from over on the west, that's going to help with percentage actually in order to take out the defences in that area and be able to take out some of them outside trash buildings, the heroes make their way into the compartment right next to the the town hall queen is going to be able to get that down she's going to have to finish this all off by herself as well get the 50 percent which she does very nicely and wraps up another two star for us so let's move back across to the board see what the scores are right now and team which still holding on to that lead just over the halfway mark but whilst there's another live attack why don't we go in and check that out? It looks like we've just begun here with Knight pushing in from the northwest side with the balloons. And you can see all of these defences that have already been taken out means that these buildings on the outside and then free buildings to rack up the percent. So even though a lot of our troops go down and the percentage is still rather small, there's a lot of easy buildings to take. Now he does have to be careful to create the funnel here. He has the king coming in from the top right, skeletons coming in through the spell on the bottom right, 
and we need to ensure that before we deploy the queen, we're drawing her in towards that town hall. So the spell factory here is a building that could draw the queen in. However, there's a lot of high hit point storages down on the west of the base there, and that would potentially draw the queen across. So another skeleton spell comes in trying to take that down. We're actually taking buildings out here as well with the king that could potentially draw our queen into the town hall. So we do have to be careful. Skipping ahead a little bit, you can see them high hit point storages go down and the queen needs to be deployed probably in this area here so that she will go through that area that is open to the clan castle. You can see that that is perfect. She goes exactly to that area and we just have to hope that she can go through the wall and hit the town hall here and doesn't take the gap down towards the mortar which actually looks like what she is doing that is not good news but hopefully with her being stuck in that compartment she has she's turned around and decides to go for the town hall what a beauty it is always that little bit unpredictable with that extra range the archer queen has but you can see she's done the right thing in this raid gets us the two star and a nice raid by night so moving into the final 10 minutes minutes of the war we need a serious comeback here so we're actually going to push all of our resources onto them lower town hall nines try and pick up as many stars as we can so we'll flip through quite a lot of replays here just see how we're doing on this one we're taking out a lot of the defenses and we have a lot of trash buildings there the town hall is free i think we're going to be good for the two star on this one so that is going to be extra stars on the board let's flip across and see how one of the other attacks is going we have one going in here and the town hall looks like it's pretty free but there's only the king and queen left and look at all of these witches coming across to defend against the queen that is not good news she's going to get swarmed and overwhelmed i don't think that one's going to end very well so let's skip across and see if we can add stars with a different attack we have a few other ones going here as well two others down at the bottom let's see how these ones are going coming in and this one's 34 oh it's already finished oh my word that one is not adding stars to the board let's see who else is attacking looks like team witch are adding stars to the board so let's move across and see where that is looks like it's this guy here possibly and the attack if it ever wants to load for us there's that two star. I think he's definitely pushing the three star mind. He has the infernos and everything. So that's not really going to happen. They are still quite a way ahead of us. Let's see who we want to attack for our second. I'm thinking maybe one of these guys here with only one star. This base, I can probably zap quake the air sweeper point in the town hall and probably nick the wizard tower alongside that as well. So... Let's go across and just see what we can do here. Zapquake coming in to begin with and we will get them down. Hopefully if we get that wizard tower, that's obviously a defense that won't be doing splash damage on the balloons as they come through. Perhaps I'm being too optimistic here, but let's see. It is only a town hall nine. No real strategy here, really. I'm just going to push the balloons in from this side. In they all come. I have that one rage spell to use. Probably to try and push them over that area by the town hall. Let's use it around about now and also bring the wall breakers in because I don't want them not to be buildings in the compartments and the wall breakers to go off to the sides and things. I want to try and make a path to the town hall straight away. In come the skeleton spells as well because I want a funnel to be created for the heroes but I don't want to wait too long. As soon as the buildings are starting to go down I can bring them in to start taking out these trash buildings because I probably will need them on the back end defenses as well but actually we virtually have no balloons left. Where have they all gone? Our heroes are going to have to do some serious work here. We've picked up the 50%. I think we're probably going to be safe for the two star. But actually we've got a witch here. We can use this remaining skeleton spell to try and take her down. Because we do not want more skeletons spawning. Overwhelming my queen. She's onto the town hall now. That will be the two star. So at least we've added some stars to the board. But we need to get through all the rest of the defenses for the three star 
star. The king is about to go down and then the queen will be left wide open with arch towers, cannons and Teslas. It's not really going to happen. So not quite what I wanted, but at least an improvement on my last raid, getting the two stars. And we will see where that leaves Team Loon. Obviously, with only, you know, five minutes left and being so many stars behind, I think we all know what's going to happen now. I hate to admit it, maybe there's some slight slither of hope. They are only, you know, 35 plus stars ahead of us and we still have one or two attacks left. And moving back across to our board, you can see that my base has now been two-starred. Let's check out that raid and see how it went down. Actually, just looking at my base right now, I can see that they don't even have to make any kind of funnel here from the west side where he's attacking from now. Just them few outside buildings and then all of the troops will be pushed in. The jump spell, I'm sure, will provide access. There it is, straight into that town hall. I even have a single targeting inferno i don't even know what i was thinking with that the poison spell on my clan casa balloons all of the witches moving through we already know before i press the replay that he gets the two star town hall is down moving up on percentage and skipping forward again you can see there is the two star he's popping skeleton spells at the top really just to rub it in get right up to that 70 percent and we don't need to see any more of that Look at all of these attacks taking place in the final few minutes. Great to see. Like I say, this was just such a fun-packed event. Really flew over the hour, actually. Let's check out their number one attacker. Trying to get some extra stars on us. And the witches coming right the way through from the bottom here. They're starting to split off a little bit, but you'll see they are redirecting towards the center. It doesn't take long before that town hall goes down. And they have a good spread on the witches here. Plenty of skeletons around. We do have the wizard tower on the left. That's unfortunately not really going to get too many of them witches down. And the 50% is in the bag, again, racking up more percent. So really not good here. Really rubbing salt in the wounds for us here at Team Loon. But maybe we can rack a couple of extra stars on the board just for a bit of prestige. As we wait of the raid loading again, look at the health on that town hall. That is so close unlucky not to get any stars on that one actually so as you can see team witch just about to pip there it goes 100 stars on the board we're still trailing behind in the 60s here's the attack that got that extra star pushing right the way through again with the witches and the balloon parades really haven't done it for us today you can see one minute left we're not really going to have any chance of getting that back especially with them pushing for more stars here the witch is coming through he only has his arch queen on this one so hopefully we can hold them back to the two stars only couple of jump spells trying to encourage them troops into the center the queen looks like she's just about to start taking that route the heal spell is on her so i'm sure that will be helpful and it's touch and go really at this point. I can't really make my mind up as to whether this raid is going well or not. Very nice use of the skeleton spells there on the town hall. But also providing that extra bit tankage for the queen. We really need these wizard towers to do some work on the witches. Unfortunately they get surrounded there. You can see no real potential of doing splash damage when you're surrounded like that and unfortunately the raid turned out to be a lot easier for them than it first looked lots of troops left over on the map here gaining that three stars so not good for us at team loon you can see the war is ending but both teams going at it in spirit until the end team which adding another three star there but in the end you can see the final scores Team Loon 62 to Team Witch who take the victory with 105 stars. So congrats to Team Witch. I hope everyone enjoyed the event. We certainly enjoyed taking part. I hope you enjoyed watching it. We'll quickly go over a few of the stats here before a few of the bonus raids. We have two three stars from Team Witch that we missed throughout the recap and two two stars from Team Loon. Now as we're loading that up, I'd firstly like to just say Happy Halloween everyone, always a fun time of year, I hope you have a great day. And secondly, please share your thoughts in the comments section below, perhaps you took part in the event itself. 
feel free to drop in and say hi. Maybe you were even featured in the recap video. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, if you guys did want to see one of these events again, which teams would you like to see battle out against each other? I personally think it would be interesting to have a team use the golems and supplement that with air troops and another team using the lava hound and supplementing that with ground troops just to see what kind of interesting strategies people come up with. Moving to the raid in the background you can see the three stars wrapping up for team witch. I really quite like the use of the skeleton spell in this raid as the witches were approaching the wizard tower, the skeleton spell was pressed onto the wizard tower, kind of wasted the spell, but actually it meant that the wizard tower wasn't then locking onto a group of witches, so quite a smart use of the skeleton spell in that instance, something I hadn't thought of. And let's move on to the other bonus attack for Team Witch, again another 3 star, deploying them witches across an entire side, what that means is that they can create kind of a natural funnel as they move forward, but also they're not getting on top of each other too much. You're not risking losing all of your witches to one giant bomb. You can see they're moving through this base very nicely. As we skip forward, the only thing they have to worry about are these three wizard towers in the corner, but actually it turns out to be not too big of an issue, especially with the queen having plenty of protection from the skeletons and he's able to wrap up the three stars for team witch. And obviously, as we know, that helped them to achieve that all important victory. So let's move across to a couple of attacks from team loon that we didn't get a chance to see throughout the recap. Basically going to show you two of our higher two stars real quick before we wrap up the video starting here up against their number 11. We're coming in from the northwest side of the base. Nice spread on the balloons right across this side. Trying to get as much of these defenses down as possible. Clear the path for the heroes. You can see that clone spell on the balloons. Trying to get as many forward as possible. That inferno tower took them down reasonably quick. The skeleton spells trying to again create a little bit of a funnel. The king has decided to walk off around the side. The queen has gone for the town hall. The wall breakers that got sprung into the air actually did us a favour. It meant that the queen didn't go forward into that tesla fire. She went up to the top able to take out a few extra buildings and that was able to help us with percent. So moving on to the final raid of this Team Loon versus Team Witch recap video. Another two star here for Team Loon. I do like how at the start of the raid the balloons are surgically brought in and what that does is takes out some of the defences that are easier to get to and it means that when the big bulk of balloons come in you can somewhat control them better. Here we're bringing them right the way over the town hall making sure that most of the balloons are getting there. You can see a lot of the defences going down. The heroes then come in. Looks like for a second the queen is going to move over towards the gold mines and the storage and then be drawn out to the side but the king's ability is popped luckily enough that dark elixir storage is still there next to the town hall draws the queen back in picks up the two star and a great raid for team loon so that wraps up this recap video for the halloween forum event i hope you guys enjoyed it congrats to team witch i've been your host judo sloth make sure to subscribe for more clash of clans and until next time peace out guys Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.